Good afternoon, Storytime readers. This is Mrs. Lawson again, and I'm here to share The Little Red Fort with you. This was a Texas 2x2 two two book from the 2020 list just this past year, and it's a nice little variation of another story you've probably heard called The Little Red Hen. So listen for that repetition and see if you can hear that folktale um, as we read along. The Little Red Fort by Brenda Mayer, pictures by Sonia Sanchez, a scholastic press book. Ruby's mind was always full of ideas. One day, she found some old boards. Who wants to help me build something, she asked her brothers. Oscar Lee pretended not to hear her. Rodrigo gave her a look that could melt popsicles. Jose almost fell off the fence. You don't know how to build anything, they said. Ruby shrugged. Then I'll learn. And she did. Who wants to help me draw the plans, Ruby asked. The boys clutched their sides and howled with laughter. Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll draw them myself. And she did. Over at that drawing table, huh? Satisfied with her plans, Ruby asked, who wants to help me gather the supplies? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll gather them myself. And she did. Entire box full of things to build with. When all the supplies were gathered, Ruby asked, who wants to help me cut the boards? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I am too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I will cut them myself. Excuse me, myself. And she did. It's her mama showing her how to put on the safety goggles and use a saw. So she's learning how to cut those boards safely with a real saw. When all of the boards were nearly cut, Ruby sang, Who wants to help me hammer the nails? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I will hammer them myself. And she did. She there with her abuelo, her oma, or her grandma, helping to learn how to hammer and nails. Soon Ruby's creation was complete. Who wants to play in my fort? She called. Me, me, said Oscar Lee. Let's go, said Rodrigo. I'll play, said Jose. I'm not busy anymore. Not so fast, said Ruby. You didn't help me draw the plans, or gather the supplies, or cut the boards, or hammer the nails. You said I didn't know how to build, and you laughed at me. I am going to play in the fort by myself. And she did. That evening, oops, skip one page, sorry. I didn't want to play anyways, the boys said, but they did. So they huddled, whispered, and got straight to work. Oscar Lee made a mailbox. Rodrigo planted flowers. Jose painted the fort fire engine red. Ruby was delighted. That evening, the boys followed a delicious aroma to the fort warming party. Who wants to help me clean this plate? asked Ruby. We do, the boy said. And they did. And then our author goes ahead and includes a couple of ideas for building your own fort. You can make a sofa fort using the pillows on the couch cushion. 
You could use a kitchen chair for it with towels or a sheet and your chairs. You could use snow if we lived up north and it was winter. Or you can use a bunk bed or a bed and maybe some chairs to drape some blankets or sheets over that. Uh, there's also a little bit of information about um, the basis of the story. And of course, we know that that's based on the little red hen. So I hope you have a great day. I hope you find something constructive to do. I hope you have a chance to maybe build a fort of your own. If you want, you could even take pictures of that and post that on our South Eulis homepage so we can see what you've come up with. Enjoy the day.